Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karabo and yeah, like I'm gonna basically talk about random shit today, like some of the weirdest things that countries have banned and just random things that other us humans do again. I mean I know I've done a segment about that, but like I'm talking about even weirder shit, like but yeah, anyway, so if you're and if you're brand new by the way, welcome lovelies, you're gonna laugh because I like to laugh. <laughs> Not like that, but like I like to laugh. Let me just take a sip. <sighs> Guys, this cocktail is the fucking shit me. I put it in a cup just so that it looks like I'm having tea, so that you don't judge me. Like, so this whole entire time you'll just think I'm having tea, like, and I'm gonna sip it like I'm having goddamn tea, okay? But. Ooh, sorry about, about that. The cold is catching a bitch. But anyway, so my cocktail consists of, for you nosy people, it consists of this thing. I got, I got it. Where did I get it? I got, I got it from that Savers shop. I think it's called Savers, and this shit was only four pounds something. Cause I was like, I'm not buying. I'm not spending a lot on alcohol, so this was like. This is 15% and from savers, you know savers that sounds like all makeup and stuff like that, like toiletry and shit like that, go there, go get, they have like an alcoholic section, go do your thing, go get you some stuff, go get you some cheap alcohol, oh, yes, and then I mixed it with this juice, with this, this is from Aldi, okay, I mixed it with this juice, it's a reduced sugar tropical juice, um, juice drink, go get you some, mix that shit together, and if you have some fruit and shit, add that shit inside, or make it even more tropical. Tropicano! I don't know why I just did that because I don't really think that is that sounds like a tropicano. Because I would assume it would be like, you know, like, like, that's a bomb. That's a bomb. Forget it. It's a bomb. But like, like I'm, I'm thinking. A tropical area would have like you know a lot of like shit like this in it. These kind of things, bamboo shit, and and, and, and lots of par parrots, not parrots, parrots, pirates, parrots, and, and birds flying about. Good. Friend. Anyway, this is not what this topic is about. Let's just. This is the longest introduction ever but anyway let's get right into it and let's have a bit of fun and see what happens i'm gonna start off with the funniest one i feel like this is the funniest one i feel like internet dating is gone <laughs> i took a turn for the worst so this this girl this lady she's like 30 right and she went she did online dating she found a guy loved him to bits she he did too i think anyway but judging from what happened i don't think she, he felt the same way back but anyways she basically got stuck in her ex's chimney Let, let's just let's just let's just think about that her ex's chimney how the fuck did you even get up there in the first place let go was the d that good like like i mean no like i mean you cannot you cannot climb a chimney for that D. No, you cannot. You cannot. I mean, travel for the D maybe, but you cannot go to a chimney for the D. That's the that that D must be so good for you to be up there and get stuck in there and then get a search and rescue crew to come get to come remove you. You're thirty. 30 bro like can you not find anybody else like there's a lot of men out there trust me there's a lot of men out there like was your ex cheating or something for you to be in his chimney like that like the fuck do you know how crazy you look mind you there's some bitches that actually do that kind of shit some girls will literally do the dumbest shit ever like but then again you can't blame them Go do you, boo boo. Let him know. Let him know you psycho. Let him know if you try shit. If you try anything, I will kill you. Let me just take a sip of my beautiful cup. <laughs> Let me just take a sip of my so another one is <laughs> apparently the UK has a bus that is powered by human poop. I mean, I know we have to be sustainable, but god damn, god damn, like, 
surely this bus must smell of human feces, right? Like, that's nasty. Who would go and what? To be honest, I'm a sustainable phobe, so I probably would go on that bus, like, with my nose or, pe- like, I don't get how it works. I mean, normally it would work with fumes, but, like, like anything, like, any, like, rubbish, you use the fumes to, like, I don't know, to run something, to create some kind of energy or whatever, but her, on a bus that he will have to be on, they must have a toilet. You literally, if they if they have a toilet on that bus, if you see anybody go to the toilet, you know they're about to have a shit. Like, like you just be thinking, mm, you're about to have a shit. Mm, she's about to have a shit. Like, what the fuck? But anyway, guys, I I like if you have this bus near your area, I suggest you take it. Like, you you will feel like you're saving the world. Listen, you, none of us wanna die. Like, just go do what you gotta do for the world and get on that poop bus and just get it out, go to work. By the time you get to work, you be feeling you be feel like you accomplished something today. Whoop 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 yeah. Honestly, like I know thieves, like criminals, have to come up with like the weird, like the like different methods to try to steal from human beings. But this one was kind of like it was kind of that like how can you take such like a childhood kind of memory and fuck it up like that? So basically, the a few of these a man actually wasn't a few was a man a man dressed in a Teletubby costume went into somebody's house right and stole leftover chinese leftover chinese who does that like this guy must have like this must have been a homeless guy i'm sorry because he must have been that hungry for him to steal who steals leftover chinese like for real for real for real who still leftover chinese but anyway that's not my portion i'm gonna stick to my portion because this is my portion which is like my tea my special tea let me just This is how you know you need to also be careful with your friends because this guy was literally a uni student. I can't remember what uni it was. Like, he was a uni student. Went to steal leftover Chinese at his friend's house. He got arrested. But, who the, like, like, what the fuck? Who gets arrested for stealing leftover Chinese? Like, he could have just been, like, got a warning or something like that. Like, come on now. But to be honest, like, what kind of friend? I, I, I rebuke any friend friends of mine from stealing ch- Michelle! Bridget! You little Jeanette, Zippy, Banda, don't come to my place and steal my Chinese bitches. I'm, I see you. I see you. I have my eyes on your asses. You're fucking stealing my goddamn fucking leftover Chinese. The fuck? The fuck? As if you couldn't find the weirdest things that humans, <laughs> humans fucking do. Like, so basically... <laughs> This is in America, it can only be in America, like for real. So like, I think it was in Oklahoma. So, <laughs> it was between a son and the, and the father. So the son has got, the son basically got arrested in the end for killing his dad. But, okay, I mean, this is not funny, but well, like how the dad died is kind of like, kind of a bit funny, but it's sad at the same time. Like basically, the son gave the dad a wedgie, an, auto, um, an atomic wedgie. So basically, the dad died from suff- suffocating on that wedgie. How did that? How, how do you suffocate on a wedgie? Did you did you get the wedgie on the face? The wedgie only happened on underwear, and that's what that's exactly what it says. That the wedge he was wearing underwear, and the son wedged him, and he died from suffocation. Was his ball suffocating? Can you die? Can, can you die? Can guys die from being suffocated in the balls? Because that's a girls, that's a really good one. If your nigga cheats on you, suffocate his damn ball, you can die that I'm not I'm not promoting death. Don't get me wrong. No. I'm just saying, just don't try to kill him by suffocating his balls and let him breathe. Just scare him because I'm sure he feels he, he feels death coming when you when when you're suffocating him. That's the only way I could figure out how the, the dad passed away. Like, but I mean, honestly, like, honestly, like, well, he's been arrested. He's in jail for obviously killing his dad. That's really sad. And uh, and I bet he can do some proper shit. Uh, yeah, guys, don't try that at home. Don't do it. You, you know you lot, yeah. <laughs> Trying out do shit out here. Don't do it. <laughs> don't kill your father. has got here. Don't kill, kill your boyfriend. So yeah. <laughs> Do something, your boyfriend do something, 
like I said, I'm not promoting death or killing. No, I'm just saying, suffocate him and let him breathe. Let him breathe though. Suffocate just for a little bit, for a good second, two, one, two, three, four. Then let it go so he can breathe. So he, you don't want him to die. Just so he feels near death experience so that he does not cheat ever again. I'm nice. Just, just saying. Let me know how it goes if you try it. No. So my other last post was talking about these twins that shared the same, um, you know, penis, and um, the other one obviously wanted. Like, the other one wanted to see the other one for masturbating because we were just masturbating randomly. But anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about this guy that has two dicks. Sorry, two penises. He has two penises, and basically he's bisexual as well. He came out, I don't know why you put it online though, like nobody, but then again, he wanted to share the awareness because there's an aware, uh, it, it's an illness that, that he has, oh, a disease, or can't be a disease, but it's an illness that he has, it's called differ, what is it called? Let me find out what this illness is called, god damn. Uh, so basically this illness is called defolia if i'm saying that wrong i apologize but i'll spell i'll put the name on here it's called defolia so he wanted to like bring out an awareness about that kind of illness or disease i don't know what it's called but that um the condition i think it's a condition that's it so um yeah he has two penises and he's also bisexual so I, I, oh and he has he actually has a girlfriend and a boyfriend i don't know if they're all married or whatever but all i read was that they do he has he has a girlfriend and a boyfriend because he's bisexual i don't know how that works though because I, do, I feel like it's impossible nearly impossible to put the two dick two penises into both the male his girlfriend and his boyfriend mm. i don't know but then i guess i guess it's it, 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 it always, he will always get pleasure in it because what's the other one do? i don't think you could have oh mind you the girl could be in and then the guy could be on top and then just Anyway, this is not what this, this, this is about. The point is that he has two penises and he has two um, partners. And oh, <laughs> he has a nickname, and his nickname is called Double Dick Dude. Imagine walking around and your nickname is called Double Dick Dude. Oh, hey, Double Dick Dude. You want something, Double Dick Dude? Welcome, Double Dick Dude. Like, anyway, that is definitely not my portion but anyway moving on with these little you know weasel weasel i mean so far i don't really i've never heard anything weird from australia but this time wow i think it's australia or austria but i think it's australia but, but anyway so in australia the leader in australia, like i think it's the politicians they've basically banned um women with small boobs from doing pornography do you want to hear the reason why because apparently it encourages pedophilia let me skip on to that so you want to tell me women like me cannot do porn i'm not saying i want to do pornography don't get me wrong <laughs> No, I don't want to do it, but I'm just saying. So people, women like me, can't have, can't do. What if, what if, what if a woman out there is destined with like small tits? Yeah, she's destined to be a pornography artist and a pornography like filmmaker, and she can't do, she can't fulfill her passion just because she has small tits. Now she has to go buy brand new tits. Like this is discrimination. This is small titties discrimination. Small tits discrimination has tag small tits discrimination this is a bs how on earth are you gonna ban women with small tits from doing pornography like i get it there's sick men out there but what like, like no Just, no 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 i'm mad i'm gonna sip it's not my portion but i'm gonna sip because i have small tits and we can't attach to my heart like, like i said i don't i don't want to be a pornography lady i'm just saying if i wanted to i couldn't i don't like how they've taken my rights away as a woman but anyway <laughs> that brings me to the end of my segment so guys I hope you enjoyed that segment because I did because some of these things that I found on the internet are hilarious, 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 hilarious. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, um, I hope you enjoyed and I'm gonna go off and have some more of my cocktail and be a pink. Oh, by the way, I've got the job. Ow, ow. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
yeah, I got the job. So I'm gonna start work tomorrow, Monday, and I'm excited for this. So I'm excited to make money because I need money. Okay? Everybody needs money, and I need money. So yeah. Anyway, so have a good day, have a good morning, have a good evening, wherever you are around the world. Around the world. <laughs> anyway, bye guys, love ya. Don't forget to subscribe and follow and share. Share, 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 share. Mm -hmm.